Hey everybody, so it's Pearl. Welcome back to my channel and we're doing a what's new video. What's new? Something that I walked into the Sephora on Hollywood Highland and it was just sitting there. I was like, touch. <laughs> and what was it? The Naked Heat Palette. This is the second Naked Palette I've ever purchased in my life, but the first one I think I'll actually keep. The first one I ever purchased was the Naked 3 a long time ago. And it was like the first eyeshadow palette I ever tried and it was like so light and so chalky and it, it just was too light for me and I didn't know what I was doing with eyeshadow so I was really mad that it mostly, most of the shades didn't work for me. I mean currently I still get the same kind of anger but you know, like then I was already like, the fuck is this bullshit? So and that was when I first discovered our makeup addiction on Reddit so it's been a fucking while since I got that and that was when the negative was still new. Anyway, I purchased the Naked Heat Palette for $54. It's Urban Decay's newest Naked uh, Palette installment. Uh, the Naked Palettes, if you've never heard of them, they are Urban Decay's like neutrals series. And they come in Naked 1, 2, 3 basics. Uh, they have two different basics palettes. They have the Smoky and then the Ultimate Basics and now the Heat Palette and Collection. Basically, the Naked line is their neutrals line, but it's, for a lot of people, gone on way too long. But you know, smaller YouTubers means more honest reviews sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time. So I purchased it because it, it was catching my eye and I needed to know. So, Naked Heat. First things first, yes, the packaging is like a matchbox, apparently. I don't know. I don't care. Probably not going to see this again. And... I like the, oh yeah, it is supposed to be like a matchbox. There's matches inside. And then there's flaming roses on the back. Alright. So here it is. First things first, this packaging. Lust. Deep lust for it. Let's pop it open. Nothing's broken. I actually went in store and purchased it, so it's perfect. So you can see my bathroom. And, oh, you can see you. Um, so this is it. Um, if you want swatches, you can check my Instagram. I'm not going to live swatch it because it's been done so many times. Um, I swatched it in store with one pass on with the like little cotton applicators that you get with cheap eyeshadow palettes. And I'll insert that picture somewhere here. But basically, most of the shades were fine except for En Fuego and Ashes, uh, which are the two darkest shade matte shades which I felt like made sense because dark mattes usually, and especially red based mattes are purples, or purples, which these are, they tend to be a little bit tricky for companies. Yes, Urban Decay is a big company, but purple is tricky for everybody. Let's not make assholes. So it also comes with their little double-ended brush, which I will probably throw to the side immediately. Ooh, I like, okay, wait, I like this one a little bit because the shader side is long, which I don't really care for. But this little blending side is just small enough. I might be able to use it for some very intricate blending in my crease area. So let me bring you in a little bit closer so you guys can see my eye and everything. Um, I already primed my eyes, so fortunately for everybody, we don't have to go through watching that step. I used the Wet n Wild Fergie Eye Primer. Um, a lot of people loved that primer. And yes, my makeup is actually finished, so if I get a lot of fallout you'll know and i'll be pissed and i will tell you all about how pissed i am so first things first the first matte shade and there's actually chaser not ounce ounce is actually a shimmery shade so we're going to use chaser to just set the primer since i haven't done it yet so we're just going to set the eye with chaser really gently and chaser is very smooth little bit of powder kick up like most eyeshadows i mean honest to god unless an eyeshadow is literally like natasha denona in where it puts eyeshadow all over the entirety of your face or the entirety of the palette i'm not expecting any kind of like real retribution you're not going to expect any retribution from me it's got to be really really bad like horrendously bad so that's actually a nice smooth shade. It went on pretty nicely. And it's actually blending out pretty well. Like I don't see any harsh lines from it. So I'm going to use my Sigma E38. And I'm going to take it into. I want to take it in the sauce. But I feel like I should just go straight for low blow. Which is this one. So skipping sauce. Low blow. And I'm just going to go right into it. This one's a little harder packed. I didn't get any kick up when I swiped it. So that's nice. 
I can take it right into the crease. And I'm looking down into my palette because I have very deep set eyes. But yeah, I've been lusting after this palette for a minute and a half now. I've watched a lot of reviews. Um, I was expecting to hate it a little bit just because it seemed like everyone liked it a little too much. I'm going to take this big fluffy brush I used to set the lid with Chaser and take it into Sauce actually just because um, I feel like Low Blow actually needs something to diffuse the edges out with a little bit more. I'm just taking a little bit of Sauce, which also doesn't have a lot of kick up, go me. And I'm sorry, but I'm looking at all of the shimmer shades. And I really fucking want to use Ember. Like, I want a dark, smoky... This look, the, the color Ember, that shit not the most gorgeous eyeshadow you've ever seen in your life. Like, I, I must have that all over my eyelids. But first, we have to build up an appropriate crease to go with it. I'm going to take the ColourPop blending brush. And I'm going to take yeah, Heat Double, which is right here. It is a red, like reddish matte. But honestly, when I swatched it, it came off so peachy on me, I almost was like, what? Actually, I'm going to go for the light peachy look. I'm sorry. I got everyone's hopes up with fucking Ember, but I really want to do a light peachy look to show you guys exactly what I'm saying when I say, I saw this as my opportunity for a peachy eyeshadow palette. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of Cayenne, and I'm going to take it on the brush that came with it on the fluffy blending side that's a little pointed. I'm gonna take Cayenne, which is right here. Or, oh, I'm gonna mix it a little bit with Enfuego. I'm gonna put it in the outer corner to really deepen it up. So I'm gonna just take the mixture into the outer corner, I'm patting and then blending. This brush is a little stiffer than I would like a brush for this kind of work to be. Very stiff brush. But I like that for this kind of work because Basically, this is an area of my eye where if it's not blended out, it's going to look muddy. So you want something kind of stiff for it. It's just annoying because it's like, it doesn't feel nice to blend with this brush. Like, all my other brushes are kind of softer and more forgiving, I guess. And then this one's like, rub a rub a rub a rub a rub rub a rub a rub a rub a rub It's also even making little lines in the eyeshadow where it's skipping over my skin because it's just my skin is not giving. Which we shouldn't. Alright, we gotta do something about these bare centers of my lid. We're gonna go into this really nice peachy shade called Lumber, which is right here. So like the first really truly shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna use the brush from the palette. Probably gonna regret it in like two seconds. And we're just gonna pat it onto the eyelid. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do what I normally do and use my finger. I'm gonna use my pinky because I want some precision. The pinky is small. Tap off any excess from my pinky. Aw, oh, yeah. I don't know anybody who can use shimmers without either, like, you can get a shimmer to work without any kind of pinky action or any kind of water or any kind of anything going on there. Now I have a good base. I'm just going to lay a little bit more down with the brush. Um, using it with my finger, I didn't incur any fallout. Um, that doesn't mean fallout doesn't exist. That just means I didn't get it. I'm just going to blend out that edge really nicely, gently. Alright, and I don't really have any fallout from applying it with the brush. If I do, it's so minuscule I can't even notice it. So let's just back out, and I'm going to put on some mascara. And we're back. So, I have mascara on, I have the palette on. So, first things first, pause the video, go down in the comments. What do you think? What do you think about this look that I did? Don't... Don't think about the controversy, don't think about if you do or don't like Urban Decay, think about what do you think of this look right here. Because I think this look is banging, like, with this peach lip, this is uh, ABH Ashton, I tried it on at Sephora and kept it on for this look. It's giving me the exact peachy vibes I wanted. Yes, it's kind of what everybody's already has. I'm like, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking, like, can I make this with another palette? And the answer is probably no. For this, I mean, I'm just feeling all types of peach vibes rather than red heat ones. Just because this palette looks peachy on me. It comes up peachy on me. Which makes this so different. This palette is $54. You get the same amount as you would get in any other Naked palette. So if you have a Naked palette already and you haven't gone through it, this is going to just be another one on the list. I'm going to stop showing it because the camera keeps doing that. Honestly, I bought it. Should you buy it? 
that's your own decision but honestly unless you are hurting for some peachy shades and hurting for something new and exciting and yet similar but different you don't need this so if you like this video you should go ahead and leave it a like because you like the naked heat palette you like me and you if you like everything that i do which i do first impressions like this one reviews which i will do in a couple like weeks to tell you guys exactly how much i do or don't like this palette after consistent use anti hauls which i tell you don't buy stuff or just tutorials like many ones or well not many ones like this one you should go ahead and just subscribe okay just subscribe because there will be videos. Also, follow my D-Stash series. It's going on currently. It's like July 5th right now. So follow my D-Stash series where I am slowly... This is old. I did this back in January. So I have a bunch of new stuff that I also have to D-Stash. So, but that was that year's D-Stash. So you should just go check it out. But anyway, if you are having a good day, then continue having it. And I'll see you next time, okay? Bye!